Hi, I'm Shu, and I make food, travel, and London lifestyle videos. A lot of restaurants and eateries aren't currently open right now and will need our support more than ever in the future. So I thought I would use footage from existing vlogs and create a list of 23 things I would like to eat again once we're able to explore around our beautiful city. Note, a lot of Asian food feature in this list. One, because I really, really love Asian food. And it's also to show support and solidarity to our communities in response to the increase of hate crime going on. All of these businesses on this list will need an extra dose of love. I've also linked every food vlog that features these dishes in the description box if you'd like to have a look. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like to help support the channel and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Number one, I've got to start this video with dim sum. Whether you visit Chinatown, high-end spots or Chinese restaurants dotted all around London, you're never too far away from enjoying these delectable small bites of joy. I miss it so much. Number two, if you're in the mood to treat yourself, one of my favorite spots in London for sushi and wagyu is Ingawa. They're known for their Kobe beef and omakase, which means the menu changes daily. This is a beautifully presented box of 11 assorted sashimi made up of six fish dishes and five vegetable options. For mains, I recommend the wagyu steak cooked on a sizzling hot stone. It comes served with beef rice, soup, and salad. One thing to note, I've never had the best customer service there, but the food is great. Number three, oysters and seafood platters. London might not be the first place that springs to mind when it comes to seafood, but when you're not by the water and the craving hits, there's a few places I like to visit. These are from Percy and Founders. They also have great cuts of steak, parmesan travel fries, and weekend brunches. For cold and hot seafood platters, I love visiting Fishworks in Piccadilly. There's a great variety of seafood, and I particularly love going there during the summer. Wright Brothers also has a one pound happy hour oyster deal if you're in the area and fancy a glass of bubbles with your oysters. Number four, the Blue Burger from Bleecker Burger. It's a medium rare beef patty with onion, lettuce, and a signature house sauce. When you bite into it, blue cheese oozes out of it and it's so good. It makes your eyes roll back like this. I also love the fried chicken burgers from Chicken Sours. I mean, look at the size of this and the dripping cheese. Top buttons of your jeans will have to be undone, but it's oh so worth it. Number five, let's take a break with bubble tea and fruit tea from Yi Fung. I love the mud flip, the milk tea with pearls, and the winter melon tea shown here. Number six, nasi lemak from Mei Mei. This is a Malaysian breakfast staple, but I'll happily have it for lunch and dinner too. This has coconut rice, fried chicken, sambal, peanuts, cucumber, and a fried egg. I really love the Hainanese chicken rice too. It's one of my favorite dishes, and I'm glad to have a go-to spot in London to enjoy this. Number seven, okonomiyaki from Okan near Waterloo. This takes me straight back to Osaka. This is a savory pancake. The batter is made from flour, egg, shredded cabbage, and dashi. Toppings include a mix of squid, prawns, kimchi, sweet corn, and topped with cassowary bushi, which has dry smoked tuna. Enjoy teppanyaki style cooking as you sit in front of the iron griddle and watch the chef at work prepare a feast. Number eight, Donuts from St. John's Bakery. Their donuts are the perfect pick-me-up and will leave you wanting more. There are also pastries, buns, sourdough loaves, and a wine shop too. But my number one choice is the donuts. Just look at it. Look at that chocolate bursting out. Number nine, Biam Biam noodles from Masterway in Bloomsbury. These are hand-pulled wheat flour noodles and it comes coated with a generous amount of chili oil. The noodles are white, thick, chewy, and an absolute delight to eat. I also recommend starting with the traditional liang pi noodles too. Number 10, I love wood-fired pizza and Home Slice has a pizza in my heart when I want traditional processes and innovative flavor combinations. That, and I also don't have footage of the other pizza spots I love, which include Lansika, Santa Maria, Pizza Pilgrims, and Santore. Number 11, Yang Niam Chicken from Masigo. Sorry about my Korean. For those who also love Korean fried chicken, this one's for you. Crispy fried seasoned chicken coated in a sticky, sweet, and chili sauce. The type of dish where your head tells you you're full, but your heart replies with, go on, one more, or maybe three more. I love all the dishes from this restaurant and check out the video to see what else I ate. Number 12, one pound lamb skewers from Silk Road in Camberwell. To describe it in one sentence, these are delicious fatty chunks of lamb coated in cumin, salt, and chili, then roasted over charcoal. Everyone knows about this place and with good reason. Number 13, quick dessert break, mango shaved ice, ice cream, and ripe cubes of mango. You can get this from Guasi Dessert Shop in Chinatown. Number 14, okay, back to noodles. This is Malacca Curry Laksa from Laksamania. It's hot, sour, and very Moorish. A bowl of egg noodles and rice vermicelli noodles with bean sprouts, bean curd puffs, shredded egg, fish balls, king prawn, and sambal paste. This is the Penang Assam Laksa. It's made from a rich fish broth. The citrus notes are from lime juice and tamarind. This bowl of goodness is made from udon noodles, flaked mackerel fish, red chili, shrimp paste, pineapple, cucumber, and onion. I could do with both of these bowls right now, to be honest.
Sliding in at number 15 is Super One. Thai food is one of my all-time favorite cuisines. These are the fried chicken wings stuffed with minced chicken, prawn, mushroom, and glass noodles served with sweet chili sauce. I also love the Thai basil and chili minced beef rice with a fried egg on top. This packs a lot of heat and it's oh so addictive. It's been a minute since I've spoken about noodles, so here we are again. Monohon coming in at number 16. This ramen has a pork bone broth with sea salt seasoning and spicy marinated cod roux. I also recommend the abura soba. It's a soupless ramen, but don't let that fool you. There's a lot of toppings and both dishes are a feast for the eyes, senses and your stomach. Let's go back to Spitalfields Market for number 17, Dumpling Shack. These pork and leek pan fried soup dumplings are popular on Instagram for a reason. They're beautiful, taste great and it's staple in the London street food scene. I also love the spicy beef dam dam mean too. Spicy sesame sauce coat the noodles, there's a spicy minced beef and it goes perfectly with the soup dumplings. Number 18. I know I've talked about noodles a lot, but the Japanese udon noodles from Koya is worth a mention. A classic, a staple, and a comforting eat. They also have small plates, donburi, and sake. Woo! <laughs> Number 19. I wasn't going to add this to the list as everyone will have heard of this, but I love the house chai and the sausage and egg breakfast naan from Dishoom. Way too much not to put it on the list. I mean, look at it. Black pepper sausages rolled in a pillowy naan with chutney, cream cheese and an oozy egg. I always try to stay from breakfast to lunch so I can be the first to order the gunpowder potatoes when they change menus. I have so much love with Dishoom and allow me to add to the hype. Number 20, Hot Pot from Happy Lamb. The concept is simple. There's a boiling pot of broth in the middle seasoned with chicken, spices, and vegetables. All the ingredients you want from beef, lamb, seafood, veggies, the noodles, and then cook your own food. I love Hot Pot throughout the year, but especially enjoy it during the winter months. It's so cozy and it brings back so many nostalgic memories. Number 21, meatballs and salad or creamy mash from Scandi Kitchen. This is one of my favorite lunch spots in London. Choose between a daily selection of salads, add mash and meatballs if you so wish and enjoy. A reminder to myself to go back and film this better. This was from two years ago and looking at this footage and the next two pics has made me realize that my video skills have improved a lot since then. Number 22, Poke Bowls from Island Poke, another one of my all-time favorite eats in London. This is essentially a deconstructed sushi bowl. Each one is topped with protein and veggies. Feel free to add in sriracha mayo and soy sauce like I have so it soaks into the sushi rice. Number 23, last but certainly not least, Dinorama, a street food market in Shoreditch. A selection of London's finest street food vendors all housed under one roof. These are the spicy wings from Thunderbird and looking at this it's making me drool. A great place to go with friends for street eats, drinks and a dance at the end of the night. Those are 23 of some of my all-time favourite eats in London. Let me know in the comments whether you'd like a part 2 as this is a never-ending list. Editing this has made me so hungry but I hope this has helped to add a few new spots to your list. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until we eat again, love you London and I'll see you soon.